Hey there, Scopers. Uh, this is Luke from Essential TV. And I'm Peter from Essential TV. And we are here to discuss last night's episode of The Flash and tonight's episode of Arrow. Um, so if you did not see last night's episode of The Flash, we will be discussing it and there will be spoilers. So if you don't want to know what happened last night in The Flash, this is not the stream for you. Um, but Arrow uh, tonight we have not seen yet, so we can have all the conjecture we want and there are no spoilers to be had unless you're behind. So uh, please send us your messages and questions and talk to us, but be aware that we are on a little bit of a delay so we don't see all the messages right away and uh, we might miss a couple. So hang tight. If we don't respond to you, we're not being rude. It's just, you know, Periscope. What are you going to okay. do? I'm all tweeted out if you want to okay. tweet out. Okay, so last night we had the holiday winter finale mid-season finale whatever you want to call it of the flash we just first episode off of the two-part crossover between flash and arrow and we were gifted with a nice holiday treat of the three wise men right trickster weather wizard captain cold not that much captain cold though no it's um i don't know it's that time of the year you can't really make him a villain with how much you've uh promoted he's going to be in Legends of Tomorrow. So that's the thing. It's like, first of all, I kept forgetting about this episode. I kept forgetting about this week because everything's been building towards that big Arrow and Flash crossover. So just in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, that's it for the season or the mid-season, and, and there's nothing left. But these episodes have really snuck up on me because they're these short little Christmas-themed episodes. Yeah. But all the other episodes, like the crossover and all the stuff with Firestorm and everything, and, and one arrow with uh, Sarah, White Canary, it's all been leading up to Legends of Tomorrow. And that premieres in January. And so knowing that Captain Cold was going to be in this episode and knowing that this is the send-off, the last time we'll see him before Legends of Tomorrow, I wondered what they would do with him. Um, because we know he's going to be... We need some type of introduction, yeah, maybe. He's going to be a good guy, or he's going to be on the, the good team in Legends of Tomorrow, so we knew he wasn't going to be too evil in this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, so they didn't use him much, but I thought they used him in a smart way to sort of, you know, he's not like being a good guy, but he's at least doing, uh, doing right by Barry by sort of tipping him off. And uh, to our viewers, send us comments of what you thought of last night's episode, what you think is going to happen in tonight's Arrow. We want to start a conversation with you. Yeah. So um, if you sent us a message already, we did not see it, send again, please. And again, tell us where you're from or uh, tell us who you prefer, Arrow or, or Flash. Yes. Okay, so right off the bat, Trickster. Trickster. The, the great Mark Hamill. So if you are not familiar with the 1990s Flash series, Mark Hamill was the Trickster. He's kind of like the bargain basement Joker meets Riddler. Which is great because Mark Hamill voices the Joker in a lot of and, Batman yep. animation and video games. And I games. think that Mark Hamill playing the trickster <coughs> on the 90s Flash is what got him the job doing the voice of the Joker in the Batman animated series. Um, so that it was very trickster heavy. And that's fun by me. I like the trickster. And I like the callbacks to the old 90s series. Yeah. As cheesy as he is, I think that the Flash is at his best when it sort of embraces the cheese. But they put him now in that, like, he's like an old man and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. How do those dreidels work? How... Can someone answer how those dreidels worked? They were made of C4. Like, they're not... I'm not a dreidel expert. Right. I like the trickster, says Dab Studio. Uh, and also responding to your, your question, the, the new Legends of Tomorrow series, it uh, comes back in January while the Flash and Arrow are on break. What is it? The, is it the 24th? 21st. 21st. Thursday the 21st. So that will keep us going while we are waiting for new Flash and Arrow. And so Trickster was great, and then Weather Wizard is the one who the brought them again. all together. Right. He can fly now. The Weather Wizard can fly. So he's, pretty, he's becoming... Storm from the X-Men. He's pretty stormish. stormish. Uh, I don't know who was... I if, think he, if next episode we see him with a mohawk, he'll really be storming yeah. it up. Uh, but I always like seeing him because he's another one of these uh, people yeah. that... He was Spartacus in the Star's uh, Spartacus series. And we they see love their, their Spartacus There's actors. so many actors from Spartacus. And Doctor Who. Who. And Doctor... 
because we have, and I'm talking like Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Um, so I always like yeah. seeing him, and uh, he was great. He's he's a real villain, and it's the kind of thing where you see these characters, you see like the Weather Wizard, and he's so good on screen, you think, why can't we get him every week? Yeah. And I think that that's why we're getting Captain Cold every week in Legends of Tomorrow, because he's just so good. It's a waste to not put him on every episode. I like what they did with Captain Cold this week. He just, like, he stayed out of the picture. He knew, you know, he said, like, this isn't for me. Right. So that was cool. Um, we do not know exactly when Flash comes back. Yeah, last year the Flash, uh, the mid-season finale was on December 8th, and it came back on January 20th. So there wasn't that long of a wait between episodes last year. But because Legends of Tomorrow is premiering on January 21st, I think we're going to be waiting a lot longer for The Flash. And by a lot longer, I don't I don't know if it's a month longer or what, but I don't know. They haven't announced when The Flash and Arrow are coming back, but I would expect it no sooner than February, and I think that probably March might be more likely. And that's just a guess. Yeah, probably don't even like announce it and just have people come back to watch Legends of Tomorrow. And they are not going to merge into one show. There are always going to be three different shows. But uh, one thing that the producers and all the people behind these shows have been saying is that even though they are distinct shows, they really are kind of merging into one show in that they share a universe and there's always said, people back and forth. Apparently, last night they said it comes back January 19th. Which really? Is before, so the same week as Legends of Tomorrow. That is, if that's true, that's really surprising. Uh, yeah, I, we both um, we both missed that. So January nineteenth, very good chance. And uh, someone asked, which us, would be in line with what happened last year. Yeah, it would be the same timing actually. PJ Armstrong asked us again who Zoom, who we think Zoom is. Who is Zoom? We'll get to that at the end of this because we want to wrap yeah, up. We'll our, get to Zoom. There's a lot, um, a lot of zooming to be done. So Barry also flew last night. Yeah, so everyone was flying last night. Barry, uh, he did more than just fly. He walked on a helicopter. So, or ran. so Barry is really getting used to being in the, the sky now. He got a, he got bit by the, the 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 flying bug from the hawk people, and last night he used his little tornado arm power and he shot up into the air. And I have to wonder, whenever you realize, if you're the Flash and you realize that you can now fly, how often are they going to do that? Because I I kind of wish they wouldn't have done that. Because it's one of those things, it's like... It's a cop-out. It just seems like, well, now you can fly basically whenever you want, yeah. so why don't you fly all the time? So it was very cool to see, but it's just one of those I feel things. like running, though, is easier than doing this. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, if you can fly, that's now a tool that you really could use in many situations. Oh, we uh, found out who Zoom is. It's Maslam Alton. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Zoom is currently watching our Periscope. Zoom is watching? Yeah. Zoom is always watching. <laughs> uh, so after Barry, oh, the the act, another Flash action figure, right? Which brings and up they keep bringing up these action figures, right? Who is making these action figures? In the crossover last week, we saw Oliver's son is playing with Captain Cold and Flash action figures, right? And I immediately thought, who is making money from these action figures, right? If I'm Captain Cold and suddenly there are action figures of me in the market, somebody's clearly making them and someone is clearly making money. I, w I would guess... Who is like, getting paid? Like, yeah, Flash isn't going to come forward and be like, hey, I want to have the rights to myself because I right. need to, like, say his identity. Like, some in this business, licensing is a big thing. You license your name. You license your likeness. And so someone is making unauthorized action figures in the CW DC universe... And if I'm Captain Cold, I want my cut. What's up with that? <laughs> they keep bringing up the action figures. I'm sorry. They, they use it a lot. They're using it a lot. And maybe it's just product placement because they really want kids to go out and get these action figures for Christmas. Um, but I got to wonder, if you have a secret <laughs> identity, who's getting that royalty check? Okay. And then after that, we had... A good insight into Patty's backstory about so, her father. Patty has a sad story about her father dying. Weather Wizard once again killed one of Team Flash's. Uh, so I don't know, nobody relative. in this universe had a normal childhood. Everyone has some kind of parent trauma, um, and 
Patty fits right in. I was wondering, though, because it seemed like they were building it up so that Patty's father would turn out to be someone we know, maybe Zoom, who knows, and uh, it turns out he's just some guy, you know, wrong place at the wrong time. Which uh, is, is actually kind of refreshing. Yeah. I think I think Patty still cares for Barry, because even though she didn't tell him about that, she did say at the Christmas party, she said, like, I will tell you, even though Barry already knows. Yeah, and who was waiting for Barry to tell Patty that he's the Flash? Like, all episodes. I seemed, really thought that was going to happen. It seemed like it was going to happen. Like, when his leg was trapped and she was going right. to kill Weather Wizard. I thought that was I it. was like, you have to take off your mask and right. be like, Patty, stop. Yeah, come on. How are you yeah. going to do this to me? Um, Wally West, he's he's next on our list. We will talk about him in a little bit. I just just on the Patty and the Barry identity thing, it's like everyone it seemed knows who the Flash really is, except for Patty. So it's just a little frustrating. Yeah. Um, oh, with with the crossover last week with Kendra, they just gave away the secret identity right. so quickly. And last season, whenever there's an episode where it was Arrow and everyone is trapped, and Rachel he's always Rachel Ghoul, not Rather Al Ghoul to me. At Ra's al Ghul's uh, headquarters, his, his lair, and Barry shows up suddenly to save them. Merlin is in is held captive with all the Arrow heroes, and uh, Felicity's like, "Barry, you came to help us," and he's like, "Well, thanks for revealing my identity in front of the villain over here." <laughs> so it's like they don't even try, but somehow Patty's last to know. So, uh, what's next? Uh, we have. Jay and Caitlin. So the Jay and Caitlin. Finally, thing. everyone agrees it finally happened. Do you like the Jay and, and Caitlin thing? Hashtag Jaitlin. Jaitlin. Do you like it? What? It's like the star-crossed lovers, except yeah. they're from two. They're we're from two different worlds. You know. Yeah, and they're both missing what completes them. Jay's missing his powers. Caitlin's missing Ronnie. Well, that would complicate things, though. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty cool, and I really like. I like when they play up the the Earth One Earth Two thing, where like Jay keeps faking Caitlin out, like what what is this Christmas that you speak of? Can you explain it to me? And uh, it's funny because we saw these glimpses of Earth Two, and it does look very very different. So it would be plausible that they don't have Christmas. I was like, once he said what's Christmas, I was like, how. I was trying to think of like the backstory but of how you get a world without Christmas. The first thing that I thought, because in the, the beginning of the episode, you see Zoom, and uh, he's, what's he say? He says Merry Christmas or something mm -hmm. to, uh, was it Harry? To Harry, yeah. And so I thought, okay, well, you know, that's funny that Zoom is a villain and he says Merry Christmas. But then when Jay's like, what is this Christmas you speak of? I thought, oh, perfect. That means that Zoom is from Earth One, ah, right? Yeah. That's the first thing clicked. And then, I, then he faked her out. So yeah. That, a lot of people are asking if Jay will get his powers back. Here's the thing. We have, we have Jay Garrick, we have Wally West, and we have Jesse Quick. All three of these potential speedsters, none these, of them have their powers In the right comics, now. all three of these characters are speedsters. So how will they get their powers if they do? Velocity 6 was introduced a couple episodes right. ago. Potentially that could give people their powers. So, or we know... Well, Harry's working on this yeah. formula that will give people the speed force, and we saw that it worked. And also we know that... Zoom wants Harry's help to steal Flash's powers. Right. So somehow it's possible to steal a speedster's powers, maybe give them to someone else. Right. So that could be a possibility. So I think we've got three people that should be very fast that are currently not. Who do you think will get the powers first? Jay, Wally, or Jesse? That's a good question. I don't know. I think they'll probably all get them at the same time. Like, How are the three of them going to be in the same room? Well, I don't know. Jesse Quick comes over from Earth two and they're celebrating or maybe they go there i don't know we're gonna get into it just seems um, like if you have three characters that need to be given speed force powers how are you going to give them to them well put them all in the same place at the same time otherwise it's going to be very repetitive we're going to get into some arrow stuff in just a second we yep. want to wrap up this flash recap so we saw wally west we saw wally west it's finally. a nice little introduction we didn't get much with him um, Joe really took that. It was to heart. nice. Yeah. It was nice to just kind nice of moment. see him and hear him. And, yeah. and here's Wally West, and we'll get to you in January. Yeah. Um, and then and Harry and Zoom. Yeah. So that was great seeing Harry and Zoom together. Uh, first of all, uh, Tom Cavanaugh is just an amazing actor. So I like Earth Two. I like to see him everywhere. I like Earth Two Harry a lot better. And um, the back and forth was good. And now we know what Zoom's master plan is. He wants Barry to become as fast and as, as powerful as possible because then when he sucks that power away, 
it's going to be that much more powerful for him. And now we know that uh, Harry is working as the inside man for Zoom because he's trying to get Jesse Quick, his daughter, believe. I thought he was working for him the whole time. I, like, I Zoom, you have his daughter. Why aren't yeah, you playing that it card? It seemed from the a start? little like there might be some more to their backstory that we don't know, but at least now we know what the master plan is. So now the question remains, who is Zoom? And I we still, we're still no I've word seen closer. Joe was mentioned. I've been saying from the very beginning, I think it's Henry Allen from Earth 2. I think it's Barry Earth 2. I think he's too buff to be Barry from Earth, Earth 2. Unless Barry on Earth 2 is I mean, the, the reverse the Flash suit made Harrison Wells look really buff. That's true. I think Barry needs to steal Zoom speed, TJ Armstrong says. That's actually a really good idea. What if we were just talking about all the other uh, speedsters getting powers? What if instead of this velocity nine he being steals a zooms. what if Jay steals Zoom's powers? What if Barry steals it? Can't con- it's too much to control and, and has to explodes. give it or has to give. It to I someone. think we just figured out what's going to happen. Okay, you don't need to watch the rest of the season, That's guys. It. We're done with the, the Flash. Okay, let's move on to Arrow. <laughs> All right, on to Arrow. So, looks like tonight's going to be a really big Damien Dark episode, which I'm very excited about. Because uh, I feel like, you know, Damien Dark has been set up as the big bad this season. But I feel like we've been cheated out of him. Yeah. You know, I, tonight, tiny little bits and pieces of Damien Dark. Tonight it looks like it's going to be Damien Dark versus Oliver Queen. Right. Not versus the Arrow, versus Oliver Queen. Somehow he seems to go to one of Oliver's mayoral... mayoral yeah, um, so now, we, now it's funny because you have Damien Dark who's dealing with Oliver. And he doesn't know that he's the Green Arrow. Uh, it looks like, like you said tonight, it's going to be Damien Dark versus Oliver, not versus the Green Arrow. Yeah, maybe he finds out. But tonight. he might find out yeah. tonight. But he's like, because Oliver denied Damien's request of like partnering up to control mm-hmm. this city, and since Oliver is clearly going to be mayor because no one's running right. against him, it, Damien Dark decides, oh, I'm just going to steal your friends and um, right. employees, right, and hold them hostage. Yeah. So I'm just really excited to see Damien Dark because I feel like every scene he's in, he steals, but he's not in nearly enough scenes. This is going to be a class. I feel like they're going to have a potential to do a classic like superhero secret identity thing, where like like Oliver is trapped in a room and he he knows he has to like sneak out, change into the arrow, right, and then stop the bad guy, and then sneak back into the room and be but like, I don't think oh, Oliver's that kind of guy. I think he wouldn't bother changing. I think he'd just he'd just do it. do it. Yeah. But also from the previews, it looks like, I mean, they're really hinting at Felicity being in real mortal danger yeah. here. And since the beginning of this season, we've been looking at that scene with the tombstone. Will we find out whose tombstone is, it is? Is it Felicity? Is Felicity the one that's dead at the beginning of the season in the flash <laughs> The forward? two big questions from these shows, who is Zoom, Who's whose dead? gravestone is it? I think it's, I still go with Captain Lance. I think it's, I think he does. I think that's a very likely scenario. I think that I Captain think, Lance makes a lot of sense. I don't think you can kill off Felicity. I doubt they will. I think there'd be too much uproar from the fans. Um, yeah, what if it's what if it's Laurel? Just another Lance. But if it was out. going to be Laurel, then they would have kept uh, Sarah to become the Black Canary again, rather than oh, making yeah. her White Canary in Legends uh, okay. of Tomorrow. This Legends of Tomorrow thing, it's really been spoiling a lot for us. Like all we. All of this season in the Flash and Arrow, there's so many things that we don't really worry about because we know, we know Sarah's coming back. Yeah, and Thea we already. We know that Ray's yeah. alive. Like, and Thea already died. You can't ever die. Sarah died twice, technically. Yeah, listen, death doesn't matter in these shows because if the Lazarus Pit doesn't cure you, then time, time travel will. Yeah. So, okay. um, getting some questions about Legends of Tomorrow, um, White Canary. You think White Canary will appear for the intro for Legends of Tomorrow? Uh, June. I don't know if you mean if White Canary will be in tonight's episode. I don't think so. I think she's already been kind of sent off. And the next time we'll see her will be in the first episode of Legends of Tomorrow, which is not that far away. Do you think we'll have Ray Palmer? That is a good question. What's up with Ray? Yeah, we he can never see him tonight. He never fully disappeared from the show. He said like he didn't want to come back from the dead. Yeah, but he never fully left. I don't know. It'll right? be interesting to see if Ray is in tonight's episode. Wasn't the last time we saw him right before the crossover? Uh, anyone? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. When's it? Has anyone seen Ray Palmer? We're worried sick about him. 
Again. Again. Okay. This, but we still know he's not dead because he's going to be in Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, well, with that, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Era. Yeah. Uh, someone mentions real quick William becoming Connor Hawk. Without getting into a whole big thing, we know that Oliver has a son, William, and we know that Connor Hawk in the comic books is Oliver's son that becomes the Green Arrow in the future. And we know that Connor Hawk will be introduced in Arrow. We don't know what the connection is, but everything we've heard is that William and Connor Hawk in the CW Arrow universe are different characters. And, uh, and but thank- with time travel, I don't know. They could be faking us out. And thank you, Maslam Alton, for reminding us to promote our Twitter. Yes. It- so you can follow at Essential underscore TV. That's our general catch-all. That's where we're periscoping from. That's where we promote our upcoming shows. But you could also follow at Essential Flash, at Essential Arrow, for uh, Flash or Arrow-specific content. And Legends of Tomorrow is at Legends of TV, because Essential Legends of Tomorrow is way too way long too for long. Twitter. I think that's all 140 characters. Um, what about in Earth 2? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I don't know. Well, have a good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Stay sharp. And may the Speed Force be with you. Good night.